Welcome back to Brawl Stars subreddit. It's been a hot minute since we have done the top of this week. So we're going to do this real quick, see what the community is talking about in regards of this update. And if you're curious of what I think about the hyper Tardis, I'm actually doing a daily series where I try each one out on my Charles channel. So if you're interested, then go check that out. But be warned, the target audience in that channel is a bit older. So if you don't want that, then don't watch. Anyway, we got to feel bad for players who main brawlers that are forgotten, like Daryl, Penny, Ruffs. There's probably a ton that I'm not even mentioning, but uh, yeah, the post says when your main doesn't get a mutation, hypercharge buff, or a skin. The only little crumb that they threw at Daryl was making his projectile speed on his main attack a bit faster which is more visually pleasing but it doesn't really change that many interactions people talked about it for like a day and then completely forgot about it surely daryl's getting a hypercharge in the next update like there's no way he doesn't he is so underappreciated right now guys this is crazy brawlers keep stealing gadgets from other brawlers supers how could they do this now i think this post is reaching a little far with like the gray one because why would they not have a gadget that can pull somebody like that just makes sense there are 80 brawlers in this game at least one gadget in the game should at least slightly pull somebody and gray's pull is not nearly as good as jeans unless you have super but without this gadget i feel like gray would not be a complete brawler this pull is actually so good for his kit like imagine instead of this it was just a stun you know how many brawlers super stun enemies like a pull should not just be locked to gene this is kind of what i was talking about on my twitter post where i say unpopular opinion reusing rare existing mechanics is a very good thing i think it's lame when a really unique mechanic is locked behind a single brawler also i want to see more freeze brawlers so i was saying this because i really liked how uh the new brawler lily stole cordelius's super because cordelius's shadow realm is a really unique mechanic but if cordelius is the only one you can access it ever i feel like that would just be maybe a little bit lame and i feel the same about lose freeze like i think that we could see another brawler in the game at some time who can freeze enemies i just think that would be fun to look at maybe they would freeze them in a different way like maybe only their super could freeze the brawler but in general i would like to see another brawler who can freeze and i'm glad that we have more brawlers that can poison there's a couple brawlers who can set enemies on fire like amber stew maybe a couple more i feel like that's an underused mechanic as well like i think it would be a little cool if draco's main attack would actually just leave a lingering burn on enemies because it does shoot fire that would make sense oh yeah pearl also has the uh burn thing with her cookie gadget anyway cordelius stole Otis is super, which in itself is just a silence, which now Sandy has. So now we have three, maybe more if I'm stupid. Another thing that I'm glad to see, because silence should not just be locked to one Otis super. That is a fundamental mechanic of most games like this that I feel like more brawlers should have at this point. A silence is basically when uh, a brawler having a stun would be too overpowered, but you still want to give them some form of CC that isn't actually stopping a brawler. So silencing them stops them from shooting, but they can still run away. I think that's a good middle ground. Cordelius has this and obviously it's broken because it's Cordelius but yeah he stole Otis's super and then he got his super stolen from Lily which is fine fair enough Cordelius you thieving piece of garbage how dare you do this to Brawl Star I think Kit was the most obvious one with his uh, Leon super he just presses a button and goes invisible that is the exact same as Leon's and it was almost the same amount of time as well but they just nerfed it so Kit was definitely like the most obvious one because for example with Lily you take yourself into the shadow realm you don't take anybody else with you which is really cool with gray you can extend the length of the pole with your super if you want to that's an awesome mechanic Cordelius's is a little boring and with kit you can gain your super if you don't move with the gadget which i think is really weird and they should probably just remove that it doesn't make much sense to me but yeah those are a bunch of stolen mechanics that i believe are good to be stolen also gamers this video is sponsored by my girlfriend i just wanted to show you this i just uploaded a second video for her for now what's happening is she's recording or i'm recording with her and then i'm editing and making the thumbnail and posting but over time i'm going to teach her all of these things but first and foremost we're just going through the whole like commentary thing so i actually think she did so well on this video so if you guys could watch it that would be awesome editing this actually felt pretty similar to editing one of my own videos for her second ever recording is insane so i'm proud of her and you guys should go subscribe and watch this video that would be pretty epic my reaction to the balance changes adrian cooked so hard i know dude the balance changes were actually crazy i know that there was a lot but i think my favorite one is the gust shield i know that's super random but i genuinely think that that is like one of the perfect things that they could have added for a brawler like Gus. Instead of just bringing Cookie Popper back, you know, he was thinking, what can we do that's kind of similar, but like maybe not so reliant on a gadget. And I think that Gus knocking enemies back with the shield is just so 
perfect. We need more balance changes like that, that take a uh, overpowered thing from something else and then kind of dumb it down in a way that makes it like a little bit less broken. Friendly reminder, do not harass any of the artists. If that even happens, that is just so cringe, bro. I mean, that's definitely how you can point out the children in the crowd. If they straight up like target and harass artists that won just because they made a skin that was voted by more people. I'm not surprised though. This happens on every corner of the internet though. If people don't get what they want, they're gonna be piss babies. And it's just so cringe to look at. Bro, there's been so much drama on this. And at the end of the day, bro, this just doesn't matter. There does not need to be a big deal created about something like this. There's some people on Twitter just mauling over a slight text change inside of Brawl Stars. My whole team got blown up. Oh no, it's gonna be the tick hypercharge thing. No, no, the round ended right on the middle. There ain't no way. <laughs> That's so stupid. This is the second clip I've seen of this. Wait, the clip continues? No way he wins this. Oh no, dude, this is like boss fight. This is stupid. How are they not just killing him? Just go forward and shoot him. Get in his range. Yeah, he's just going up and winning. The thing about this knockout though is like if your whole team dies, there is no way to kill the, the final player. Especially if it's like a 5v1, you are not killing that one person unless you have like, I don't know, a perma stun comp, but he has boss fight health. Realistically, there's no way that you're just going to straight up kill them. They're definitely going to get some kills on your team. And even if it's a 2v1, the guy who's alone has double the stats of the two people. So it's basically an even battlefield no matter what. So what I'm trying to say is... If you die, it doesn't matter at all. Opinions on the new legendary brawler. I already made a video about this, so I'll keep it blunt, but uh, some people are trashing on his design. I don't really get it. I mean, designs have been pretty similar for a while here. I don't see anything exactly wrong with it. Like they can definitely make some good skins with this brawler. I think his main attack is actually very unique. Some people compared it with like an Ash clone, but it's actually really different. At least when I've been using it, it doesn't exactly feel like you're playing Ash. So that's how it feels different to me. And also the thing where you have to hit it at the very end. Interesting. I think it's going to be pretty bad, but we'll see. I think his super form is actually just overpowered. So they might need to nerf that. The high safe is cooked right now. Dude, every single single update heist just gets worse there's like another cheese factor added with each update that comes to this game there's like chuck there's melody there's new abilities new hypercharges now we have nita's bear which was already really good at killing the heist safe but now you can use it with hypercharge and hyper bear it's dead the safe is gone not only that but also mutations for the next like month after it comes out there's gonna be two hypercharge nita bears on the safe heist is a dead game mode the concept of heist used to work just fine with the old brawler pool but in its current state they should just replace place it with seed. I don't see why they shouldn't because heist is just a dead mode. There's too many cheese matchups in that mode now. No, it can't be. Finally, I'm rewarded for being a loser. The update for losers in Clash. Oh, this update was horrible. It was received so badly and it's Drew saying it. Uh oh, guys, they're casting a spell and it's not the global launch spell in squad buster video. No, this is the spell where Brawl Stars dies. It is over guys. Brawl Stars is gone. I'm moving on to squad busters for the rest of my life. Goodbye. No way little bro wants 30 bucks for an in-game character. The same price as a double A game. Yeah, that's why I'm not buying this. I was considering it, but I've already made sneak peeks, so I have no reason to buy this the way i'm looking at it is uh you have the brawl pass that is a monthly subscription and then you have the brawlers uh early access that's an extra 20 to 30 dollars per month that's that's a 30 40 dollar subscription i don't exactly want that so for now i'm content with just doing the sneak peeks but if i really like a brawler then i'll get their early access everyone else is already making content on the new brawlers when they come out like eight different people are making videos pushing them immediately to rank 35 so i don't really see a point i don't want to do the same thing that everyone else is doing plus i don't like pushing so win-win for me should supercell slow down on brawler releases this is a question we've been asking for like the past four years and at this point i'm just gonna say it, no because clearly it's fine since this question hasn't really changed anything for years there obviously isn't a huge problem but let's see what they have to say okay this is a lot to read i'm gonna try to sum it up for you so this is the pros if they were to actually slow down brawler releases it would give free to play players more time to unlock brawlers and also max out the ones that they already own we would be able to receive more content like hyperchargers mythic gears and stuff like that less brawlers for pro, pro players to get used to for comp but i feel like adding more brawlers is more complexity which makes the game more competitive in my opinion more unique brawlers since the devs aren't rushing them out dude the brawlers recently have actually been very unique i know that lily is kind of like a fang clone but she plays way differently so i don't know like they they can't just make every brawler extremely unique but in a case with lily she is similar to other brawlers but she plays very different which just makes her unique as a whole i know i made a video saying that she's a fang clone but that was just on paper i think one of the last times they made a complete copycat brawler is uh comparing edgar to el primo yeah i think the cons outweigh the pros here less major content 
content additions, less revenue earned by Supercell, less master rewards and bling, less reasons to buy the Brawl Pass, less overall hype. Yeah, the, the cons outweigh the pros here. They should not change the Brawl release schedule. Think of it like this. Clash Royale stopped releasing cards and the game has been on a downward spiral for a while. Unless they do something huge, it's going to continue going down while Brawl Stars is still going up. And I feel like a big reason why Brawl Stars is still going up is because we have so much content and for people who quit the game for a while when it was in a downward spiral, now they came back and suddenly they went from 50 to 7, no, to 80 brawlers in the game and they have so much to get, so many new things to try. I think that's a big reason why the game is coming back up because so many good updates came out and now that so many players are coming back or even just now downloading the game, they have so much to do. But if you just stop releasing new brawlers, which is like an integral part of the game, people are going to run out of things to do and the game's complexity is going to like stagnate. All right, now that I'm done yapping about that, what is this post? The amount of pain the free-to-play players must feel right now after seeing the new brawler rarities. Yeah. Uh, Mythic Lily and Legendary Draco. Guys, it has been so long since we've seen a rare brawler. When will it happen? Who knows? But like I said before, whenever they decide to release a free brawler, they should just make it a rare. That would be such a good option for me because at least then rare wouldn't like very obviously have less brawlers than the rest of the rarities. How do you feel about this? Okay, so this is from Ray's video. He's opening a legendary egg. All right, the opening animation, Dynamite, Robo Mike. Uh, uh, what? There's no way. I don't know what I was expecting this post to be about, but I kind of forgot that this was a reward. They normally don't give skins like this out for free. Is Jean's Hypercharge the first to make a brawler worse? Nah, but I see how this one could make him worse. I think the first one to genuinely make a brawler worse is Brock, because at least with Jean's, you can aim it to where like only one hand is going to hit. Like you can purposely do that. But for Brock, he does significantly less damage with this super it hits more consistently but the dps is inconsistent sometimes it hits for 500 sometimes it hits for 1000 but with this normal super it's in a fixed pattern so you know when it's gonna hit and it hits for 2k per rocket draco is not as good as we thought oh boy okay well let's see because i've actually played this brawler his main attack only does 2400 at the tip of the range which is very hard to do and even with the mark he will still die to high burst damage brawlers before unloading all three shots his main form has absolutely no way to to get close to enemies and his super does give him a speed boost but still has no way to effectively get close without taking damage okay this is true and this is one reason why i think that that one gadget that makes him invincible is not going to be game breaking because as a brawler he's fundamentally like okay i think he's going to be great in brawl ball even though he can't pick up the ball with that gadget he might be very good in hot zone as well with this dragon in modes like gem grab unless it's like a perfect map for him he's not going to be good so he's a situational brawler kind of like most tanks in this game are i don't think he's going to be a horrible brawler in fact i think he, in the right circumstances he'll be overpowered yeah i don't think he's gonna be like as bad as this post is uh painting him out to be one thing's for sure in his main form his dps is pretty dog water besides that though I think he's fine. How do they attack so fast? Normal player firing speed versus bot firing speed. So if you don't know what this is talking about, if you're in like a friendly match and you have the smart AI bots in Brawl Stars, which you normally don't see when you have like a bot match in a real game, but uh, they have insane fire rates because they have no delay. How they shoot is I believe how fast a player could shoot if they had the world's best internet connection. So to my knowledge, if you really wanna see how fast a brawler could shoot in the perfect circumstances, go into a friendly match you might have to be at a certain trophy range i'm not sure but watch how fast they shoot it is insanely fast they're like machine guns and you can really see the difference because with brawlers like b they shoot the fastest but it's not a crazy fast because b has a fixed fire rate but with most other brawlers uh players can only shoot so fast but the bots can rapid fire so try that out it's really fun to look at so there we have it after six years the next supercell game is squad busters so yeah this is kind of interesting. A lot of people are really upset about this. A lot of people are really confused and a lot of people are really excited. I think I'm in a mix of like a couple groups. I'm excited for a new game to come out. I've never played this yet because I don't play their beta games anymore because I just don't want them to die. I expected that Squad Busters was going to die, but it seems that Squad Busters was kind of just like given a pass. Like I think that they really think that the concept of the game is going to do good in the long run. Like the game was in soft launch for two days while other Supercell games went in the soft launch for a while, while something similar happened 
happen with other beta games that just died. So I think that they were planning on making this global no matter what. The good thing for me is that this is the closest game to Brawl Stars that they've produced since Brawl Stars. I still don't really see the scope of the longevity in this game, but I'm going to give it a try when it comes out. I might try to get like the early thing right now, but if I can't, then I'll just wait. But yeah, Kairos just uploaded a free to play video on this game and it got 100,000 views in a couple hours. So maybe the viewership on this game is actually huge. Who knows? Thank you.